movement of liars, yeah. cowards, and they should face the opposition. Kenya's history is never complete without revisiting the 7th of July 1990. Demonstrations rocked Nairobi and outlying towns. Sabasaba happened at the city's historical Kamukunji grounds and was part of advocacy for multi-party and constitutional reform. Reform agitators led by Kenneth Matiba, Charles Rubia, Masinde Muliro, Kemani Wanyoike and others wanted a repeal of Section 2A of the Kenyan Constitution. The clause outlawed other political party besides Kanu. Part of the push came in the backdrop of rigged general elections in 1988. The citizens' freedom of assembly, freedom of association, and freedom of speech. In order to create the environment in which there will be successful constitutional reform process. In 1997, Showdown loomed as the opposition, the civil society, religious groups and other activists drummed up calls for a constitutional review ahead of the general elections in December that year. Police violently broke up several rallies with the one on 7th July 1997 having the most devastating effects. <laughs> If you look at the police, the way they beat Kenyans, <coughs> you would think actually they come from another planet. Is the... Fast forward to 2014, and Sabasaba is back. The opposition, led by Raila Odinga, is calling for national dialogue. What really is Sabasaba in the year 2014? Sabasaba is a very special day. Uh, in the political calendar of our country. Uh, it was the day when, uh, after so many years of political repression, Kenyans decided to say that enough is enough. That was in 1990. Those were the days of the single party, um, Mama and Dada Party, Ghana. Because, of course, we see uh, uh, a process of trying to cancel the gains which had been achieved. That new constitution was hailed as the most democratic constitution in the world. But what we have seen of late is trying to bastardize the constitution through uh, sub uh, subsidiary legislations. I can give an assurance to Kenyans that the, all these rallies will be peaceful. And if there will be any kind of interference, it will be interference organized by enemies of Saba Saba, not the people. So we appeal to people to conduct themselves responsibly in a peaceful manner, come to Saba Saba, to Uhuru Park, so that we can talk as Kenyans. We can be able to highlight the problems that we have in our country and also um, uh, give reasons why it is necessary for there to be a national dialogue.